What's up, y'all? It's your girl Lexine on the scene, and today is a beautiful Friday night. And why am I home at like 11:30 p.m.? Because your girl just got fired. Like what? Who would really fumble the bag like that and get rid of Lexine? Let's get into it. I got some coffee. Cheers. And I hope you got some hot tea on you because you're gonna be spilling that shit all over you when you hear what I'm about to say. A lot of you probably already met me at the club and we shook some booty cheeks together or you probably gave your girl a nice tip because you thought I was cute. But if you don't know me already, I'm Lexine and today's scene takes place on the day I got fired, today. I should be more zest and less stressing, but your girl instead is less zestin and more stressing. Like what? Let's run it back to last year, like February. I'm literally an introvert before all of this booty shaking at the club. I was a worship leader at church, okay? Hallelujah. So we waddle into the club and you know, I'm a little nervous and everything. And Chris runs off to the sections with our friends to go take photos and videos. And your girl is just standing there like struck, like what am I about to do? I'm standing in the corner by the door where all the employees are going downstairs and I'm on my phone, literally checking the same email reading it over 50 times there's literally like a line of four guys just waiting to holla at your girl because you know i'm looking good in my bodysuit or whatever and i'm so nervous like i'm literally avoiding eye contact and the bus boy at the time at this club literally told the guy like she literally is not interested in you so chris finally comes back to save me and we're at the middle of the bar now and he sees the owner of this club her name is kelly hey kelly i love you thank you for believing in me we'll understand why she believed in me in a little so kelly had to see your gracious woman standing here Lexine and previously one of our friends he sent her a message like he has the perfect girl like that'll probably fit into this environment but you know she's probably hearing about mad girls hitting her up she's probably seeing all these dms and not really knowing so she had to see your girl in person to know like she's all that so Chris introduces me to Kelly and Kelly just looks at me and she's like what you want to do here she said bartending I was like you know like I've bartended before private events like I've also bartended at Ness where some of you have already known me I bartended for the Pagua Parade I was like, no sis, I want to like bottle girl. She's like, oh, because I think they're already at capacity of like two bottle girls and you know, they didn't really need more. So she opens her little notepad and there she goes scrolling like this. I swear, like she put me at the bottom of this list because that's where my name had to be fit in. There's like probably 28 girls above me. Literally the next day, Miss Ma'am Kelly messages me and asks if I can cover the next Saturday. Like I literally wanted to shit myself. So, you know, I had to go get my outfit. So new to nightlife. I've never done this before. Literally Literally church of the club and it's your girl's first day covering there's a time I visited before I actually started on my first day and I introduced myself to the girls I was like hey girls I'm Lexine I'm gonna be covering bottle girl if you have any advice like you know just let me know I'm probably coming in like mad weird like asking people for advice in like a very competitive environment which I had to learn by actually starting which I thought it was also my part to introduce myself to everybody because you know I'm coming into their yard it's like low-key getting sanctioned you know <laughs> time progressed bro and we're literally making bread like this club this pack y'all met me there like we used to be jumping and y'all know it like me and my girl Arlene which y'all already know that's my girl we worked as a duo up into my last moments at this club we had a system we really respected each other we really respected making money and making everybody have a fair opportunity and I could really say absolutely nothing bad about this management like they really believed in us they really gave us our money they never cheated us they paid us fairly like for any additional thing we do they would compensate bro like and that's one thing I really respect people that understand business respect their business is respect their workers and that really held us all down until you know one day they did tell us that they're gonna sell this shit <laughs> Like, probably one of the saddest days of our life, bro. Like, no joke whatsoever. Like, Kelly and Upa Navin really held that shit down, bro. They really treated us with such honor and respect. Everybody's birthday was honored. They got us cakes, bonuses, you name it. Like, we really live in the life in this bitch. And for being in the nightlife for, like, the first time ever in my life, like, this was one of the greatest experiences of my life. One of the best experiences. The new owner's kind of, like, making her way in. Making their way in, should I say? But definitely more her. So our final farewells are coming like the last week last two weeks with our previous owners and the trickling of the new owner you know she's i could notice like somebody's on the scene somebody's new looking around like you know i could see her looking at us like of course we're gonna be your workers so i would be looking too like if you was about to be working for me i'd be watching that shit all up and down make sure you know you make my business look good blah de blah so i noticed you know they're at the bar and me and my girl arlene like we're serving a table and i could like notice like sis is looking at me up and down i'm looking bad i'm in my yellow outfit like 
here and it comes time where kelly is now introducing me to the new owner like i'm downstairs like i had to be called to be introduced to the new owner like i mean like i said i came in this bitch and i introduced myself to everybody like if you about to own this shit like i would i would expect you to you know greet your employees and be like hey like you know i'm who i am but okay let's do it this way now so they're in the office or whatever and you know kelly says hey come down meet the new owner whatever whatever so i go with my girl arlene and we're just like giggling off our booties because you know everything's funny to us so i walk up to sis and kelly in the office and kelly's like this is like seeing one of our bottle girls and like i feel like sis is really not giving eye contact but you know whatever like i'm still there having an open mind because you know i'm not gonna be closed-minded and be like no like you know whatever you know so kelly goes on to say like oh she's trini and venezuelan so i'm assuming like you tell somebody i'm venezuelan well and like everybody know what como te llamas mean right what's your name like i mean at least i assume maybe i'm assuming wrongfully maybe everybody doesn't know but i would assume like that's a common phrase you know okay maybe i'm biased for that but anyways so sis doesn't respond when i asked that question i was like oh what's your name sis still hasn't said her name so kelly's filling the blanks and i kind of like hear the name that she mentioned and then kelly goes on to say that i'm married to chris who's the videographer that you know y'all be seeing doing it doing his little thing making y'all look bad as online you know and she's like oh they're a couple once i see a couple i end that shit like some shit along those lines and i'm there like exactly like that like i'm kind of confused like why would you want to end shit like we've been working fine you obviously are interested in this business because you see them making money they ready to sell you're like oh i'm a win if i get this place right so if we got a couple already working here and we have our hookah people a couple and none of the couples are making any problems like we've been working fine but anyways you know have your commentary like maybe that's something you know like you point out and make valuable when it really isn't a valuable statement because everything's going all hunky-dory i'm not like all spiritual and shit but like i would like to be and like i do strive to be so i feel like i'm very sensitive on energy like i have a very discerning spirit of energy so off the bat like just seeing sis when sis was looking at me upstairs i don't know like sis's energy is like i don't know a little different to me it just doesn't take me like i'm a very nice ass person y'all know that so for you to really rub me wrong like something really has to be off about your energy because i'm approaching you with kindness and like openness so like yeah we're gonna miss our previous owners or whatever but of course we're gonna be under new management so we gotta suck it up and live with it right i wouldn't really say time is progressing sis it's been a week and she's already let a couple securities go if y'all been at this club or any club in general you should have security middle and beginning outside like what if something pop off like y'all expect me to do something like keep the security sis but anyways two securities gone i would rather make sure everybody is safe in that bitch than cut security you know like you should have cut me before you cut the security what was working was working clearly now it's not working like a lot of y'all say y'all don't like the laser lights when you're drunk laser lights make you a little uh, like nauseous she started putting sports bars on the tv screens like we're not a rum shop like our crowd is different we don't want to see that they want to see us bad bitches dancing like we're low-key a club our customers are noticing they're like yo this shit kind of different the vibe is off every week y'all say that like and you know like i'm encouraging y'all like yeah you know like give it a chance or you know like, maybe change is good okay let's just accept it as it is but a vibe is something like I can't really work on like my vibe is fire but if your shit is like you know counteracting with all that they're gonna notice you walking through that i can't be with y'all every second you know because i'm low-key working too but i gave as much as i could and y'all really like you know upheld me for that ghetto ass atm at the front then sis proceeds to fire our cameraman chris romario y'all know him like we getting 30k on videos like we never hit that shit before so how are you gonna get rid of the biggest asset like not only did she fire chris bro not only did she fire chris before he was even fired she brought a photographer on site like Chris does photos, sis. Like, what's going on? Like, how you gonna initially disrespect him before firing? Like, at least fire him and then bring it in. It wouldn't seem like disrespect. Okay, photographer on site. Sis decides to fire him, but replace him before even firing him. Any hoosies. Yeah, you know, videos cost a lot, but it does a lot, sis. Or you saw it. The video works, sis. What are you doing? Firing Chris. But anyways, fire Chris. Go ahead. Because you know why? Every other club saw hitting him up. Because... She threw her treasure that she thought was trash into the trash, which was actually treasure out there for son. Damn, I'm poetic tonight. What'd she do next? My brother-in-law was the busboy, Cam. Y'all know him. Man's called out sick, bro. Sick, bro. You know she fired him. 
fire him, replace him with what it seems to be, my opinion, cheap labor. Because he was a little costly. Like I said, the previous owners respected our labor and paid it well. Now, suddenly we're doing promotions for $5 shots, margaritas. Yeah, that might bring in people, but that might not bring in people to buy bottles. So, of course, our sales are declining as bottle grows. What next? Everything's just happening and happening in such a short time. We're probably like two, three weeks in. Sis goes on to tell our two bartenders. She's going to start rotating them. Let me just quote the words. Sis goes on to say, ladies, going forward, I will be rotating you both, alternating your days. I have to bring someone new that can help create a new and better menu. The bar should be doing more. Oh, that's all I'm going to say. That's all I'm going to read because sis brought a girl in. In my opinion, just want to clarify it's my opinion, to do more. What more is being done? I haven't seen a change more than the two girls have been doing Friday, Saturdays, like somebody else could have done better because as of now, sis is not even giving, like. Same sis I'm talking about, new bartender, comes on site. Like I said, when I first started this shit, I introduced myself to everybody. I showed that I respected what's going on. I said hello in a new environment and I think that makes sense. Like I'm coming to work with mad people who are already like this like why am I gonna be singling myself out which is what in my opinion sis was doing so how's sis gonna go on Instagram on her close friends which sis we got the same close friends just so you know talking hella smack talking hella smack saying pretty bitches always want to be stank with the new girl like hi to you too say hi to you too like did you even make an effort to come say hi to us and we just chilling bro like we just standing smoking hookah all the bartenders come around smoke the hookah with us so why didn't you you singled yourself out sis and that makes it delusional in my opinion and then she goes on to say but it's okay because nicks love fresh new pretty faces jokes on them i Come on with that energy because we're all family. We all acting calm. You see us like not giving anybody shade. You come in with your shade then assuming shade is on you. It's giving projection, honey. But anyways, you know, I still walk in. I say hi. I make the effort. Like, try it sometime because you're going to talk shit about mad people who not even giving you that energy. It's crazy to me. And this is who this new owner thinks is going to bring in more to the bar like i'm not understanding y'all already know mad people be coming to this club for your girl lexine requesting me requesting arlene like we run that shit and y'all know it so sis want to move shysty so i would let all my girls win but if you want to act like that like sis you're probably gonna have to win on your own like i could send people your way but with that energy and that hater mentality like we're not doing it and what i'm not doing is it and i'm a nice ass girl so for you to really be like coming like that even if it's to my friends to me whatever like now 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 with that same energy sis keeping that energy so one of my friends comes in and he brings his friends which knows this bartender from somewhere else so my friend always buys bottles off of me hence i'm a bottle girl not a bartender he wants to stay by the bar so why sis go ask the new owner if she can sell this bottle to this guy at the bar and the owner approves it's dead af forget it's ramadan navratri lent easter it is dead af because the vibe is off y'all message us every week and say the vibe is off the shit is different the music is whack like they're not feeling it so how me and arlene about two to four bottles in alone and we split everything down the center because shit is dead and i want my sister to win too okay let it rock but she gonna go tell my friend and them that oh they look mad at the situation i ain't mad i ain't mad at all i'm expressive i'm passionate and i'm you know given to y'all right now so how's this gonna say we mad but you're in our jurisdiction of what we do bottle girl bottle for us like do you get that because you don't see me behind the bar selling cocktails right which this whole situation led to exactly why i got fired today we're having issues with our money now sis just kind of x off 70 dollars of our tip on our money no idea where it went first week working there i would assume you know how to use the system because you own another place like now me and arlene have lost 70 dollars which again we have to split into 35 each like we're really losing and this shit is dead all of our staff is gone and without courtesy you're cutting people's schedule cutting people's time days money trying to split one payment for two people is giving crazy like people live off of this shit the staff no longer feels like family we feel invaded we feel discouraged now we just feel like obligated it was time to bounce this it was really time to bounce ma'am wants to send a one to eight list today the day i got fired 
about her rules and regulations. So let's get into it. Sis goes on to say, bottle girls cannot sell cocktails. All cocktail orders must be done at the bar. Okay, so why is a bartender allowed to sell a bottle? Like, um, can we discuss that? Because if I can sell a cocktail, which I don't, I run that shit through Kathy every time. Like, I'm not ringing up no cocktail orders because I'm not a bartender. I'm a bottle girl. That rule was respected. I don't know what she's seeing on the cameras and assuming we're doing that. But it's definitely because last week, Saturday, one of our clients came in. He always come. He always spends. It's dead AF. All the boots are open. He wants to sit down. Kathy rings up the cocktails. I take it to their table and serve them because we do shit like that right and lastly number eight on that list numbered one to eight sis wants reservations to be booked through her y'all been hitting me up talking about y'all are actually messaging the page and what do you say what do the screenshots say i had messaged the number on ig and the person was literally so unresponsive oh another i dm the page days ago no one answered me so why do i need to be giving the reservations over up to you when you're literally not reaching out to the people now sis wants to talk about unless they're texting the wrong number so y'all know i had to hit y'all up like send the screenshot bro proving your number is at the top it's not a wrong number why would you link a wrong number in your Instagram okay then so my good sis goes on to say but also so then bartenders can sell bottles either because wasn't that our issue bartenders selling bottles on a dead night how are we making money why am i coming to work and then i go on to say my clients are comfortable booking through me y'all always hit me up i always got you immediate response immediate answers we're done with our transaction in five sis is not giving that to y'all so why will i give that over if i know y'all are comfortable with booking through me like you really are gonna mess up what still exists for whatever is still existing which is not a lot now sis is going on to say bottles are also sold at the bar if it's busy and the customers are staying by the bar she's talking about if a customer wants to stay at the bar the bartender has to sell it what is the point of bottle girls that shit is not jumping bro if it's busy which it's not yet you still let a transaction go through like are you following your own rules sis? because you sound like you don't understand your own logic in my opinion now we're addressing everything we're talking about you talking about bartender Bartender's own bar, bottle girl's own sections and tables. So why can't we sell cocktails if she can sell a bottle? So now we bring in things to light. Sis thought we was not going to speak up, but when it comes to my money, sis, I don't play. Now sis wants to go on and say whatever happened before, it's in the past. And that's why I'm clarifying it. So suddenly we just not going to talk about it because you don't want to answer questions. Even though in your list of one to eight, you said, let me know if you have any questions. I'm addressing questions now and you just don't want to deal with it. So we just say, leave it in the past, but I'm confused i'm your employee let's clarify what you want me to do i'm respecting your shit like then she want to go on talking about there's no message from the person maybe it's on the other page the other page doesn't exist because the old owners have deactivated it the only page that exists is yours now she can't figure it out she can't remember she never finalized she never finalized that's why y'all would hit me up i got people booking bro booking at the place you're promoting birthday packages giving cake and balloons now you're gonna tell me the day of you you didn't get a cake what do i say go to the grocery store and get a cake girl people are coming to your establishment i'm promoting it i'm bringing my people here so you can make money and i can get my little tip off of it like so silly old me confused old me is like so you're saying bartenders could sell bottles at the bar because they own the bar but bottle girls cannot sell cocktails in their sections slash tables in brackets which we don't because we always run it through a bartender but that's our space Please make that make sense in the most respectful way, honey. I don't know why sis is getting offended. Like, I'm asking a question. You said let me know if you have questions, right? Lexine. That's me, baby. I'm not here to go back and forth with anyone. She names the place of the club, is my business, and I'm gonna run it the way I want to run it. If anyone is not happy with my rules, they are free to leave. We didn't even have to go there, but if you want to go there, like, why? Like, I'm asking a question. Like, didn't you say ask questions? So I say I respect that it's your business and I'm not going back and forth. I'm just trying to understand the advantages for them, meaning the bartenders, and the disadvantages for us, 
the bottle grows. Well, what advantage does it have for you selling cocktails since bartenders does not make automatic gratuity on cocktails? Sometimes they make drinks for customers all night, no, no tip. Also, are you a bartender? Do you know how to bartend? Not everyone can bartend, at least not the way I want my drinks to be made. And then it just goes on and on. Estrogen overload of going back and forth for no reason. Clarify the statement, sis, the same one you're stating in your 1 to 8 list of rules we have to respect. Clarify what you want to say, like that's all I'm asking. Please make it make sense to me, didn't I not just say that? So my good sis, you know, is going off and letting her know like, you know, it's unfair to us. Like, if they have privileges, we should have too. Like, it should be equal. We're in a workplace and if they can touch our jurisdiction of where we belong, why can't we do theirs? And then she wants to say, how is it a disadvantage to you if all your sections have bottles and the bartender has one bottle at the bar? Why does the bartender have a bottle at the bar anyways? Aren't you a bartender barring the drinks, baristering back there? And my last and final message, which is exactly what got me fired today, was what I said. It goes, in your first message you said, in quotation, let me know if you have any questions. So, this is my question. I stated, a little bracket, the rules for bartenders and bottle girls are biased. My opinion. Another opinion. Bartenders stand higher chances of making tips, but bottle girls can only make tips if they sell a bottle. Right or wrong, guys. Right or wrong. And I answered her earlier question when she said, do I know how to bartend? And I said, and actually I do bartend, but only exclusively. Hire me for your private events. Now, why am I getting a private individual message sent to me when we were just in a group chat? I personally don't feel like my message was offensive in any way. Private message came in, Lexine. This back and forth is not for me today. I can't work with someone that is going to go back and forth with my rules. This is my business again and I'm going to run it the way I want to. The rules are not biased, and this is the way I want my business to run. I cannot work with anyone that is going to challenge me every time I make changes. I said to ask questions, and you did, and I clarified the answer. This wasn't an opening to challenge my rules. Unfortunately, I cannot work with anyone that does this, so going forward, I'm taking you off the schedule. I'm sorry, I don't understand. What are you saying? That's a lot of words and not exactly what you're saying. So your girl Lexi needed to clarify again. Because if you have to say something, please say it, honestly. Like, don't write paragraphs, don't confuse, don't overwhelm. Say what you have to say. We're running a business, I'm professional, you should be professional, and I'm a grown ass woman, and so are you. So I ask, so are you firing me? Because we don't have a schedule. Sis, we're there Friday, Saturday, 10 p.m. to 4 a.m. That's not a schedule. I'm not understanding. Like, I just simply wanted a question to be clarified and now suddenly a girl is out of her weekend job. We're barely in to Saturday and your girl is already back with a part two that I'm gonna fit into this part because girl, what? I never intended to go to the club. I didn't plan on going into the club, but I wanted to pop out and see my girl Arlene, give her a tip because I know that shit is not jumping if your girl Lexine is not on the scene. Okay, I wasn't salty before, but maybe I'm a little salty now because I think it's personal at this point. How sis went ahead and informed security to not let us back into the club. Like, first of all, old stomping ground. I have no purpose of going back in there. Like, my time there is done. You cut it short. I don't even want to come back in. We are now banned from the club. We can't go back in. The security just calmly let us know, like, we were informed not to let you, KR, and Lex in since 9 p.m. The club opened at 10 o'clock. Like, don't want to let me in because I'm going to be talking to the employees about what? What employees am I going to talk to? Ain't nobody left in there that really want to even conversate other than my girl that's left behind, the last of the Mohican. Like, everybody else is practically, in my opinion, the replacement of all of us, the OG team. Like, any hoozy, since we're family, we're there to say bye to the security since we're never going to see them again and have no purpose of going back there we're chilling and you know everybody's coming out of the club and they notice me they're like yo lex is on the scene yo like we chilling with lex outside it's brick af outside and everybody's coming out of the club and they chilling with us outside like the vibe is here clearly the only 10 people that was in the club because y'all really said y'all not going back because i got fired and you know everybody's like yo what happened like that's crazy they did you dirty so ban me for the people having power to say what they say about me because they know i'm a nice ass bitch so now one of her 
her current employees that she had replaced my brother-in-law with. The new man's on the scene is cool as well. So he comes and he's talking to me and he's like, yo, Lex, I f***ed you OD. Like, you know, like you're nice. And you know, even she sees that you're nice. So suddenly you want to see that I'm nice. But anyways, he comes and he was like, you know, she felt like you defied her in your message. So right there, I said, yo, hold up, son, because who defied who? First of all, sis sent her list of one to eight rules that we have to abide by that we understood, respected, and acknowledged. So how did I defy you by asking a question you did say to ask? And like I said, saying, let me know if you have any questions. So me asking a question just to clarify a point that you made that you suddenly just can't answer because you can't justify the truth suddenly makes you feel defied in a conversation where you initially defied all of us. Like, I'm sorry that I'm outspoken and trying to figure out where my money's gonna be because if I'm gonna be bringing my customers into your spot for you to make money and for me to make my bag off of what you're making, which is obviously way more than we're making, how are you gonna go and tell people that I defied you? You felt defied. Like, that's crazy to me because it's giving projection. So I'm talking to him or whatever and he's saying like, you know, you know, she's a woman and you know, women are emotional and you gotta give it to her. I'm like, I'm a woman as well, but your emotion should not have me as your punching bag because I'm not your man. I shouldn't have to be rationalizing your feelings. You're running a whole ass business and I don't need to be on the other end getting all the bullshit from you. Like, I'm not getting that. I'm not dealing with that and that's not my business. So, you know, I'm telling him like, I'm not even in there. I don't gotta see what's going on in there, but I know that shit is not jumping without me in there because people <laughs> with me heavy and that's why nobody's showing up because she did me dirty for absolutely no reason for her own projection, her own reasoning. So, son starts saying, you know, yeah, she sees that. She sees you bring the people in. Suddenly you want to realize these things when you've rationalized your emotions, already fired me, and then wondering if I would want to come back to work is crazy like you've burnt a bridge and suddenly who's building that shit back because i'm not building it back if you burnt the bridge sis like i'm not rebuilding nothing the fact that these conversations are even happening and you can't come outside speak to me or like initiate a message to me individually like she could have definitely clarified that in the text where she did say yes i'm fired like if you really wanted to say something then say it like i'm a grown-ass adult so are you why are we acting like this is not a business and we both trying to make money so it's really giving that you need to take a little bit of accountability for how you speak to people and how the situation went down. None of this would happen. He's heard one side. It's time for you to hear mine. Me and you both sis are shocked as to how much people responded to this. There's really power in all the people that believed in me and see my worth and understand my worth and I'm so sorry that y'all missed out on that. Now son is about to be summoned because the security was called in to let us know that sis is feeling uncomfortable that we're outside, that the customers are outside with us because like I said, the vibe is outside, Lexine's on the scene, nothing's going on in there that interests them. It's giving hella personal at this point. Like, you may be comfortable speaking to other people like that, your current employees and people you've probably worked with before, but it's not gonna be me. And what I can do is control people from noticing how bad of a bitch I am, how great my customer service was, what an impact I made on this club, what a family we became, where respect is earned, and where business can be business. Because we could have been making big paper together, but it is what it is. On to bigger, better things. Anyways, the chapter closed on its own. I really, like, been feeling that God's been calling me home. Not, like, to... But, like, it just wasn't giving. After a while, I felt so forced to have fun. So, my chapter has come to an end at this club. Don't know what the future holds, but I decided to share my side of the story because y'all really wanted to hear why. And if you're looking for me, I'm gonna be right here on YouTube at Lexine, L-E-X, I-N-E. Until my next video, catch me on all my social media at Love Like Scene. Don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, and share. See you, girl, right here. I'll see you on the next video. As always, Love Like Scene.